What I do, I try to look at it as being something unique. I call it talk singing and song poetry. And the reason why I come to this conclusion, I don't just recite when I'm doing a performance or a, a normal reading. I'm, I'm singing, I'm reading and singing and talking and adding sounds. And I'll give you an example, like I might do a piece like I'll do an improv piece here, Never, like, um, uh, on the side of me, right behind me, is that place of which I come from. Right behind me, beside me, is that place in which I come from. Ooh, such a place it is. It's where the smells of the kitchen live. Ooh, so you see, I'm using ooh, and I'm using behind me beside me and then I'm saying beside me behind me and I'm adding all this to the rhythms that I'm hearing inside my head and I'm like playing music because I, I think that I like to perform out of the concept of a jazz man or bebop or tune or doo-wop tune choo doo shoo be doo hey you know something like that because these are the things that I grew up on spitting up the spirit I remember Turk and Curly out in front of Mitten's Playhouse or Sunny Shoe Shine Power or Lil Jim's Fish and Chip Store. People would be standing around encircling them as they danced and danced and danced. They'd be moving them feet so fast and adequate that lightning bolts would appear. Beats of thunder they'd produce every step and stride would be. Doom, 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 doom. Can you hear me now? Doom, 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 doom. Can you hear me now? Through the trees I look, watching and waiting and hoping for a better tomorrow. Flash, flash, slowly I journey all of my thoughts. War, oh war of hellish nights. Death angels, I pray they vanish, disappear. No more of their stench. I search for peace. Cities on fire. Undomiciled coming through the flames. Ain't no place like home. I wrote that poem thinking about the conditions that we live in America and how so many of black people are homeless in America. Families homeless in America. You know, and it made me think about how far homelessness goes back. And as an artist, I wanted to capture my feelings pertaining to homelessness in America. So Cities on Fire came from my feelings based on, I've been homeless ever since I arrived here through my forefathers being slaves. I've been homeless in America because homelessness in America has become an institution to black people. And there's no reparation ever been made, no seem like going to be made. So until there is that, I feel homeless in America. Pitching pennies and hopscotch. Seeing two movies and a chapter for the price of one. Mm -hmm. Get old gospel blue. Get old gospel blue. Mm -hmm. Getting all dressed up in a sailor's uniform on Easter Sunday while flying kites with razor blades on the tail. Pitching pennies and grinding slow with your favorite girl. <laughs> of the Studio Museum of Harlem. And I'll never forget the first Kwanzaa. You know, with cats like George Tate, I believe, playing, and it was an interesting evening. Also, I, around the corner from that location was where I had my first experience with poetry, with guys calling themselves the last poets. I call them the original last poets because I'm talking about Felipe Luciano, David Nelson, Gallen Kane, who went on to create the Temple of the Blue Gorilla, and Abi Odun, and there was a few other guys, I forget their names now. But that's where I learned my craft. I was 
going to their little workshops they had up there, which was really an open rehearsal floor, kind of like. And you come up and they'll pull you right into their thing. 1961, heroin still held its grip on Harlem folks. Tragic was the magic that put its spell on Harlem. It came on us lightning flash, uprooting us from our souls, ripping us from our spirits, thieving the very breath from our lungs, a nightmare to our dreams, our dreams stolen. Light in our eyes erased, heroin addiction, Strung out, nodding, drooling, OD, dying, hot shots, killing what's bad ass. Eliminating, wiping us out. Annihilating love from our bopping feet. Those are the melodies that lives inside me. So when I recite, I try to incorporate all that energy of a Duke Ellington, of a Frankie Lyman, of a Sarah Vaughn, or a Ella, of a you know Big Maybell. You know, I try to put all those swings to the words that come out my mouth. You know, so I call it sing poetry, poetry sing, talk singing, and that's my creation. And I know it's not the first time anyone has ever done it, but. I kind of like to think it's something that make me work hard. Along with improv, is to know the history of the root of the music, of the sound. Listen, man, this is, this is uh, Roy Campbell Jr. and the Honorable Dr. You mean another Roy Campbell? No, this is Roy Campbell right here. Roy Campbell. Yeah, there's a senior. There's a senior. There's a senior. There's a senior. There's another yeah. That's right. And this is the Honorable oh, Dr. Right. Eugene Cowan. Alone. There ain't no junior senior. No, I ain't none. He's just the Reverend of Howard. And we got Tyrone Henderson, the yeah. poet yeah. laureate the, of Harlem. The, the funny thing about the three of us is that we all relate to Harlem. Oh, That's I right. Harlem. I love Harlem. I love Harlem, man. Me too. The what music. You, if you love Harlem so much, why you live in Brooklyn? It's cheaper. This is the straw man.